Why, happy Valentine's Day, boys and girls, and dogs and cats, and ladies and gentlemen. I hope you enjoyed your holiday as much as I did, and why not celebrate this holiday by reviewing the 1981 slasher film, My Bloody Valentine. Now, the plot of My Bloody Valentine is, it's set in a small mining community in, I believe it's set in Canada. I know the movie was made in Canada, but I don't know if it's like, uh, if the movie itself is also supposed to be set in Canada, but basically it's set in a small mining town, and what happens is, 20 years earlier, there was a serial killer named Harry Warden who killed all these people on Valentine's Valentine's Day, so now it's 20 years later and Valentine's Day is coming up and now more murders start to happen and like the mayor of the town, he starts getting these heart-shaped boxes and inside the boxes are actual human hearts, so you're not sure if it's a copycat killer or if Harry Warden really is back. Uh, now, My Bloody Valentine, I believe, was made to kind of capitalize on the success of movies like Halloween and Friday the 13th, because after Halloween and Friday the 13th, you got a fuckload of slasher films in the early 80s, and I'm pretty sure this movie was made to kind of capitalize on those movies, but it is definitely a pretty good movie. Uh, I think the best thing about this movie, really, is the characters, because the film does have some really likable characters in it. Now, in the movie, there are basically two main characters. There's um, a man named TJ and a man named Axel, and there's some interesting characterization with the character of TJ. Like, you realize that he left the town for a little bit, and, like, when he left the town, his girlfriend Sarah started dating, uh, this guy Axel, and he finds this out when he comes back to town. Uh, yo, so you get some interesting characterization, and a lot of people say how um, in slasher films the characters usually aren't likable, but if you actually watch a lot of the slasher films from the early 80s, um, a lot of them do have really likable characters, and I thought the characters in this movie were pretty likable. Uh, yo, and like the character of TJ and the character of Axel, they come off as being more three-dimensional than most slasher film characters, so, yo, I really, so I did enjoy a lot of the characterization in this movie, and it's just a really fun slasher film. Now, there was a remake made to this a couple of years ago, and I'm not gonna lie, I actually do kind of enjoy the remake. I mean, the remake wasn't great, but at the same time, I don't think the remake was trying to be great. Uh, you know, the remake was just a fun little slasher film. Um, definitely not as good as this one, but I would definitely recommend the remake, but I would recommend this one more. So, uh, yeah, that's my review on My Bloody Valentine, and bye.